This lesson is on using a simple function in PHP. Actually, we're going to code this function. We've been using functions for a while now, but we've been using the functions that come with PHP instead of ones that we get to make up ourselves. So, we have a very simple web page here. First name, Steve. Submit the button. Hi, Steve. Not a whole lot happening here. We've seen this kind of thing before, but let's look at the code. The form, just briefly, is the simple HTML form you're used to, first name, and a submit button, calling the PHP code. Let's look at that. Now, come down here. Notice things aren't starting the way they usually do. This says display message. That's not a function you've ever seen before. The reason you haven't is because we haven't coded it yet. Down below here is a function definition. These are called custom functions in PHP. You get to make them up. Message abbreviated. Notice how I put the little uh, parentheses at the end of this function name? Has to be done. Simply required. Later on, we're going to see how we use the space between those parentheses to pass data to the function, but right now it's empty. First, we'll look at this definition. Keyword I put in front of my name is just the word function. And then we have our famous opening and closing curly braces to enclose a block of code. Now the whole idea of a function is when I call this name or this function, the code between the curly braces happens. Everything. In this case, it's just two lines. But it becomes a shortcut for these two lines of code. So let's look at the code. Here's an equal sign, so I go immediately to the right. And it says, uh, go get the first name off the form with the dollar post. Put it in the variable, print hive first name. We've seen that code before, but we had that code be standalone. Now it's part of this function. So here, when we come to this PHP program from the HTML form, the only piece of code we really run is this. It says go do the code in that function, and then it does it, and then the program's over. Now here's the deal. All of this code, the function definition and the code in it, None of that will run by itself. This has to be called with a function call like I'm doing here. That's key. Without a call, that function definition code will never do anything. It just sits there being defined, but never called. This ends our lesson on doing a simple function with PHP.